All right, thanks, guys. I, I don't even know what to say about this Navi draft, Brax. I actually have no words to, to say what I feel about the Seneco support, support Slark. Slark here. I can't say I've ever seen a support Slark in a competitive game. I've seen Slarks that get owned so hard they look like they're support, but <laughs> this one is starting out as support. I mean, maybe he pops off, maybe they get him some farm somehow, but it's not even... I mean, the rest of the picks are okay. General offlane puck, that's fine. Dendi mid Viper, but maybe the Roger 4 position Queen of Pain won't be that good. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe he'll own. Maybe he will. Maybe they might get GH. Is, yeah. He's taking a slap from Roche. Announcing hide and seek. They're doing it, but they're going to check Roche immediately. That's not going to... They're going to say he's in the Roche pit. Just say he's in the Roche pit. All you need to say is he's in the Roche pit or he's dead. But he, he said Chen, right? So he was running into suicide. Oh, he said Chen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he said, said Chen. Chen. I see. Okay. So he's going to go suicide into the Roche pit to think, oh, they're Roche. Oh. And then it was a distraction. So how does this even work? I can just hear everybody laughing in the background. I don't even know what's happening. <laughs> Are you kidding me, GH? <laughs> what if I don't want to give bounties? What if I want to kill Roach? <laughs> Alright, well, there'll be no bounty taking. Oh my line. god. There will not be any bounty taking, at least for Liquid. It's a Dry Ranger. She's running away. So that's the first blood for the support Stark. He's got an, an Orb of Venom. He's popping up. off, dude. That's it. He has some sweet utility right there. <laughs> three and a half second uh, leash. He's got the he's got the three second leash with no follow up disables whatsoever. They literally have poison attack, and I think that's it. They don't have anything. Yep. The the shadow strike. The shadow, strike. shadow strike. That's, that's the play. That's the combo. That right is there. the combo for sure. Yep. <laughs> well, maybe Slark was originally intended to be a support here, right? He finds wards. He has night vision. He runs around quickly when he hits six. Maybe yeah. they know something we don't. Yeah. Maybe they have a, an idea. I don't know. We'll see. Earth Spike, Queen of Pain doesn't have Blink, obviously. The uh, Shadow Strike is already gone. Roger's getting zoned out for now, but... Quite good at trading hits like this. Shadow Strike. Mind Control is the offlane Marana. He doesn't have Pounce. He got... Or rather, he doesn't have Leap. He got Pounce by Seneco. And now they have no way of doing this again. They have no Pounce for 10 seconds. They're slowing him down. They're doing a lot of damage. I gotta say, it's not that bad for Mind Control. Or rather, for Seneco, but still. <laughs> he just runs away. He doesn't need leap. He realizes the only way they can kill me is 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 leap or uh, rather pounce and getting some extra damage from like Vistic Snake or something. He's gonna do it again, but still. Fortunately, Medusa not the biggest follow up off the pounce. <laughs> I don't think so. No, uh, even at uh, higher levels, it's still a little bit rough. So in the meantime, they have the mid dazzle going for Matumba Man. He has eight last hits to Dendi's uh, what four. This will get easier potentially for Dendi. Maybe not. He's taking a lot of damage from Matumba Man. Poison Touch, pretty good. Obviously, Shadow Wave as well, doing some serious damage. So interesting mid lane matchup for sure. Yeah, and it's also a dazzle with uh, Drow Aura, right? You know, oh, the, true. The Drow Aura is so low. Ten percent bonus damage. Aura. Yeah. Three base damage, yeah, I guess. Not a lot. Yeah, it could be a bit better for sure. Meanwhile, bottom lane is going okay for Navi. Mind Control is getting some CS. He has Leap available if he needs it. And uh, they're just going to back away from the tower. In the meantime, Miracle getting chased down, taking a lot of damage. He's actually maybe in trouble. General is the one getting auto attacked. He's already used his Illusory Orb. Here comes GH as well. They're going to try to find a jump in. In fact, Roger Plank said aggressively this might not be the play. He is in some serious trouble. They need one or two more auto attacks to get this kill. It's going to take three, in fact. And they will drop Roger down. And so there, it wasn't first blood because of what happened to the Roche pit, but they will still get a kill going their way. So they did not guess Chen. Or they the didn't hide and seek, right? So yeah, so theoretically, I don't. They 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 killed the lion, but then they announced Chen as that was happening. So it should be fine. I think they're gonna get the bounty. That's <laughs> liquid. So he was just in the jungle, right? And they didn't they didn't guess at yeah, all. They, they never guessed at all. All right, well, Miracle looking for General. He's got the illusory orb. He's gonna be able to jump through. Meanwhile, Dendi gets the kill. Man mid. Miracle's gonna stick up. He's still a little bit low. They're gonna try to chase him down here. Blink through. Rogers shadow strike. They get the kill. Almost could have gotten denied, but it's gonna be a one for one trade. But Navi getting that kill is actually pretty big. And Roger, he'll have Blink in another seven seconds or so. GH is out of mana as well. Not much he could do here. Earth Spike, if it was available, would probably secure them a kill. But Roger's gonna blink here in just a moment. One would assume. Or he'll try to kill GH, and he's he might be successful. Enough. GH is no mana. He is dead, I believe. But your RP, yeah, he's going to be clipped by it. Navi will take two kills in this top lane all of a sudden in Liquid. Okay. All right. Disaster in the uh, Liquid safe lane. 
Not to mention Matemo Man died while that was all happening mid lane. I think Seneco is going to go for it again. The pounce oh, will hit. He's pounce. got Shadow Wave, but Denny's going to run at him here. And maybe this is actually going to work out. Matemo Man is in some serious trouble. He's got stick charges. He's dead again. Dendi will get another kill in that mid lane. There's no way this is happening, right? There's just. Mark is starting to get out of control here, guys. I, I don't even. He's, level, he's got level two pounce now. He's got boots. He's got everything he needs. Although General might be in trouble. Penance is going to come in. There's the Thunderclap. He has the Illusor up. No face shift. Waiting Rift. Not going to do much there. The Centaur Conqueror Stomp. Plus the Hex. The Earth Spike. They will secure the kill. Nice gank from Kuro there. Yep. Nicely done. So, you know, in the early levels, it's easy for Navi to play around in this top lane. But if they ever get aggressive, it's, uh, that's when Chen can come in, right? Yeah. They don't exactly have a whole lot of burst damage. They need to right-click a million times afterwards, so... Nice, and once Chen starts to move towards the bottom lane too, right? Stark can't really protect the Medusa at all. Chen no. creeps can come in from behind. Marana, very easy to follow up. No. And Marana's getting okay farm too. 13 last hits. I mean, Navi obviously have more CS, but they're still getting good farm in most of their lanes. But some of man, this is where things get a bit harder. He's taking level 2 poison attacks yeah. from Dendi. This feels a, a lot more tough. Oh, all right. Well, that. Yeah, as long as there's no Chen on the top side of the map, Navi have come of the slate. Ooh, this could be a good gank, man. It's going to be tough. Again, yep. he is level 3 corrosive skin. Makes this very hard for Kuro. We'll see if he can get it done. They'll rotate in the line. GH is going to be spotted by this Observer Ward on high ground, though. Now it's gone. Not that it really matters. Dendi's sitting pretty far back. They have the poison test. He's going to walk up for a moment. The Hex will come through. The Earth Spike to start it up. The Petan is going to come in. They've got the Thunderclap. They have the Centaur Conqueror Stomp. The Shadow Wave damage. Too much. Really good gank from GH and Kuroki to come in there and bring down that Viper. Yeah, Dendi not respecting the uh, lion sitting on the hill, right? Once you know, or once you see that, you have to expect that the Chen is probably nearby because those two heroes alone can't kill Viper, yep. right? That's why he's playing so far up, playing so confidently, but Chen comes around the back and there's no way he can survive. Suddenly, with that kill, they get a bit more room for the Dazzle. Miracle stopping the CS. Roger's going to come in and Shadow Strike. And Miracle getting close to level 6. Illusor up. Good. Gust coming in, so General can't jump through. But now, they're going to jump in aggressively. They've got the Earth Spike from GH. Miracle. Are they going to use it? The Waiting Rift comes in. They're going to turn on General instead. Earth Spike almost hit on a 2 from GH. That would have been sick. Miracle taking down to the Shadow Strike. He's going to tango up. He's going to go for the TP. He's going to make it out. GH will tank the gank instead. He is still low. He should get dropped down. Juking through the trees. He's got Earth Spike. General needs to be careful. He's going to get dropped. No, the rain drop. Face shift comes in. He was so Hello, General will survive. He just had that raindrop come through and save his life. So close. Raindrops are so Well, yeah. at least Miracle doesn't die on the side of team, right? Yes. I'm too upset about that. Very true. And their Marana is having a fantastic time in this lane. He's level six, crystallizes his own level five. This offlaner yeah. is getting so much. But once Chen starts to make rotations down there too, Medusa has no hopes of staying in this lane. They have Moonlight Shadow, they can start moving around a bit more aggressively. Mind control will pick up treads. But Tumma Man was getting set up on by Seneco. Uh, he has a double damage rune, which is actually pretty good. He has SD ship, so might actually work out pretty well. But now, they're going to jump onto Crystallize. They missed the arrow, and my control was going for it rather aggressively. Needs to be careful. He's a bit low in HP, but they'll not be able to kill this Medusa, it looks like. Yep, and honestly, Drow is such a hard hero to defend. Like, um, she's good against solo offlaners, but once she gets pressured heavily by a lane that she just can't handle, you can't really help the hero. You kind of just have to leave her on her own, let yeah. her do her own thing, get level 6, and play around uh, elsewhere. Good Gust will keep her alive for now. She's going to get some auto attacks off. Really would like the marksmanship at level 6, but Miracle's not quite there yet because of ex exactly what you were talking about. There's not much he can do right now. He kind of just has to sit back. He actually uh, pulled, and now he's going to get shadow struck, but he's got the frost arrows. Blink is available for Roger. He'll drop a ward down. There's the Gust nice coming silence. in. He's going to go for the TP. Earth Spike, the Hex. What's it going to be? It is going to be the Hex. They're going to get the Earth Spike in a moment here and get the kill. That's a big kill for GH and Miracle, getting a lot of experience for both of those heroes. Nicely done. Oh, Sadeko. He's done so. Mind Control arrowed him, I think, and then the level 3 Star Storm, which he just leveled up to level 4, did way too much damage, and so they will find another kill. And uh, Navi, they still have a slight advantage, but this is what we thought would happen with this draft. They would start maybe getting maybe killed uh, in the mid-game and sort of lose their towers here in a couple of moments as well. Yeah, it turns out when you have five core heroes on your team, you may struggle in the support department, right? Winning yeah. your lanes becomes very, very difficult. I think all things considered, they've done a good job, but you're right. This is this is not going to be any easier as the game progresses. Yeah, they've done a very good job in their offlane. Yeah. Right? The Puck and Queen of Pain have been causing a lot of, uh, a lot of chaos in their offlane. That is good. Now they're making a move together as well, smoking up Puck level 6. 
They can kill anyone they find. A ward scouted them moving together, and I think if you're yeah. Liquid, you back up to your tier 1 bottom, or you go for pressure on that bottom lane. In fact, Crystallize needs to be careful. Taking a lot of damage, running a little bit low on the mana shield, but he does have a wand charge, which he will use. He needs to be careful, though. Here we go. The gank's going to come in. There's the illusions. And Neko's just going to get behind the tower, and Crystallize will do the same. General is still running in. He's got treads. He's got double null tally. They're looking for a fight, potentially, as Crystallize will go to the shrine. And uh, this will give some room to Miracle in the top lane to get some extra farm for himself. Yeah, a lot of heroes from Navi here. Pounce. Misses Crow, the dark pack. Now they're going to get a couple of auto attacks. The Illusory Orb coming in. The Waning Rift and Crow. Moonlight Shadow. They have detection. No, they don't. He's going to stay alive. Matuma Man doesn't have Grave Crow. Going to get Dream Crawl. He will finally fall. But still, the Star Storm dude, so much damage coming in. But Mind Control taking too many hits. They'll find one. They're going to get the Hex off on, onto another as well. And Crystallize is about to get dropped. They have GH with the Earth Spike. They will use it. But Tuma Man does so much damage. He's got the Shadow Wave. He's got himself a double kill. And in fact, Four heroes die for Na'Vi in that fight. This Star Storm was incredible for Mind Control. Yeah, they make that rotation down there as well. All of Na'Vi die, basically. And, and meanwhile, Miracle's going to be hitting top tower. It's, uh, it's difficult. Right, you have to pick and choose what to defend. They're keeping back in the bottom. There's no coil though, but maybe they can use first play. Yeah, they have the Illusory Orb. Mind Control will just avoid it. They don't jump through. Waning Rift on it too, but Mind Control will leap out. They can't take the Tier 1 tower. They'll have to back themselves away. But some will go for a TP. He will make it out as well. Oh, no. And they just no don't have any disables. <laughs> they just have no disables. Oh, that's depressing. <laughs> Well, at least then he got a, he's got a bounty rune, and he, he almost uh, Viper Strike, rather, the, uh, the lion. <laughs> we have a Midas on Kuroki. <laughs> All right, this is, uh, okay. That's, he's not even level six yet. He just went straight, he went straight Midas. He didn't even get boots on this hero. My god. He's looking to acquire all the big items. It's good. It is very good. Yeah, they're already ahead right now, not by much, but they're starting to do some serious work. General getting run at by Mind Control. He's got the arrow. He's going to leap for it. A couple more auto attacks. One more phase shift comes in. GH, no way to catch him out. General will be able to pass enough to get out. He'll even use the Illusory Orb just to make sure they can't find that kill. So good effort from Liquid. They won't find it, and General will make it away. But they might lose this Tier 1 tower in the process. Yep, this Tier 1 was quite dead. Dazzle, Chen, Drower with his range heroes to right these towers, down these towers. Will not survive very long. There it is. Here one taken, finally going the way of Liquid. So, Navi are in a position where, like, um, they can't trade towers anywhere near as quickly as Team Liquid can. So they either need to trade inefficiently, where they lose, like, two towers for one, which looks like they're probably going to do up top, right. or they have to be able to fight them. So they need to smoke, they need to flank them, they need to try to force the engagement. And uh, it looks hard, right? I don't feel like their heroes can necessarily fight at this point. Noose is not going to join. Slark kind of has to walk in there. It doesn't seem like it's the most reliable to say, well, as we saw them all just TP away from them, walking in there, right? So they almost took two for one, or rather two tier one towers. The mid tier one is going to get defended, but... They're gonna find GH. He's mega dead. Drink well comes out. Moonlight Shadow will not save him this time. They have used their one uh, stun though. So yeah. Now there's uh, 60 seconds where they're gonna have some. All right, guys, attack. carry your TPs. Yep. They're gonna get the tier one bottom. Arrow hits nicely. That allows Mind Control to maybe get this kill. He does a uh, Shadow Dance away. Mind Control will leap. He's got another one. Oh, He's about to use a Star Storm. Maybe this is deep. Star Storm's gonna hit another light. Oh my God! The last right hit for Mind Control actually gets the kill. That's insane. He's gonna get chased down. He has no leaps, but there it is. There There's it is. the TP. They don't even yep. have Stone Gaze for Crystallize. If you have that, maybe they they can kill him. But <laughs> that's rough. <laughs> that is really rough. He dives the enemy tier three tower essentially, rather past the tier two. They get a kill, and then he just TPs out in front of your Dusa as well as another hero. So. <laughs> Uh, we'll be seeing a lot more of that, that's for sure. Yeah, in their face. My Scrolls friend. have been useful here. Now Mind Control is top of the net worth. He's had an insane game. He had a pretty good lane as well. Kuroki finally has Arcanes to work with. He's got a, a lot of skeletons here. He has the double Dark Troll Summoner, and he's popped like 5,000 skeletons. It's a spooky army. They're going to move on through. Farming it up. Everybody on the side of Liquid is pretty much free farming, right? There's no real threat on the map. Protecting each other, even if they go on Miracle, GH is close enough by, he's got the finger available, might be able to blow someone up. They're looking for Roger potentially, Hex doesn't get off in time. They'll maybe turn into General instead, but he's going to back up to his tier 1 tower. Uh, but some of them has Arcanes, interestingly enough. I thought he might go more of an auto-attack build, phase, tread, something like that, but... 
team player month. Yeah, that's true. That's very true. Some man likes to be involved. He likes to help out his squad. They'll push the tier one tower mid for now. Roger is coming behind, but honestly, I'm not sure what they can do. Puck's not there to green foils. They, they want to pounce. They miss it, and he doesn't have a TP scroll on Matemba Man. It's the one item you need, but he's going to turn it. Instead, the poison touch comes out the weave. Roger fingered up. He's dead. See you later. Dendi might be next. Mind Control is doing some serious damage. The Mystic Snake will hit onto him. He has the raindrop, so he's completely fine. In the meantime, Miracle's like, thanks for the space, guys. I'm just going to take your tier one tower. I hope that's okay. Yeah, just look at the way Team Liquid are allowed to play on the map, right? They were showing two heroes in the top lane, Lion and Drower hitting the tower. Then they have two heroes, like, pretty deep hitting the mid tower. But it's like, uh, they can't punish them at all. So they can just show in these places that they normally can't beat. Dendi is getting caught. He's a blade mail. Might kill mind control. In fact, he's gonna bring him down the nether toxin. The poison attacks. GH is in too deep. They will get Dendi at the very least with the earth spike, but they have the dust up. It's gonna be two dead. Matumba Man, where's your grave, buddy? Sonic Wave comes in too little too late. Matumba Man can't quite get there to save his ally. It'll be a two for one trade. And uh well, alright, that's okay for Navi. I mean losing Dendi's not the worst thing in the world. Up top, Miracle gets caught up too. They actually use the green coil to break the TP, so. Yeah, that's huge. Now he doesn't have it. He's going to break the coil. Takes too much damage. Seneco gets the kill. He says, whoops, my bad. Didn't mean to KS you there. But, uh... He's making the transition into core. What does he have? Boots? Orb of Venom Wand? Does he have something coming out on the courier? Looking like a core. He's, He's got, got a Wraith Ban. He's Ray going Aquila. All right. Okay, Seneco. I see you. But uh, that was a 3k lead, now down to 2k. Actually, it was 4k, now down to 2k. So Liquid losing a little bit of their advantage here. And, uh, I mean, late game, what do you think about late game for now? I mean, they have so many heroes. They should theoretically have the late game. They, when you look at the lineup, you think, wow, they've got so many core heroes. How could they possibly lose in the late game? But <laughs> that's not always how it plays out, right? No, true. When you have a, a lineup like this that's capable of taking objectives very quickly, it usually spirals into getting like, a, a really big push. Right, they can all just farm wherever they want on the map, and this Marana is going to be basically a, a true carry. At the right, Mind Control had a very, very good start. So, while Navi do have the, they have more core heroes. I feel like Liquid are going to hit this point where they accelerate and go very, very fast, and then we went strong. Yeah. Especially because uh, they also have Roshan. And yeah, they have the tier one tower advantage, which gives them the map control available for them to go and to take Roshan if they need it. So. That will be a good start for Liquid. A 2k network advantage, 15 minutes in. They might find General, vision-wise. They don't see him. The arrow will come in. He's going to dodge it swiftly. He'll blink himself into the tree line. He is uh, got an Illusory Orb. They have the Hex. They might get it off in time. He's going to jump back. There's going to be the Poison Touch. He's trying to dip, dive, and dodge every way he can, but he's going to get caught and killed. GH was there, but Temmin with the Poison Touch as well, and they will take this Tier 1 tower in the top lane. Yeah, very nice kill. Kroki is farming his tree. Yeah, he's at holy. Basically at the top. He's actually as as good as Miracle is right now in terms of his net worth. It's like a carry, so. Dyer's middle tower has been denied. <laughs> God, thanks, <laughs> false alarm, false thanks, alarm. Mr. Midas. We really appreciate it. Thanks, Mr. Midas. Mr. Midas always is the wise word. That's why he makes the big bucks. Yeah, he uh, he's quite the big spender, for sure. And they will give GH the Aegis. He is, by the way, the lowest net worth hero, so they're going to go for the, uh, what is it, 4 Protect 5 bounty. And they need to keep, so what they need to do is Lion cannot lose his Aegis. Uh, or he, they could go for a different bounty and he could deny it to neutrals, which is also uh, available for Liquid. But I think they're just going to try to keep him alive for the next five minutes Oops. until the Aegis reclaimed. Anyway, Crystallize is farming pretty well. He went Blade Mail, Mask Madness. He's probably the one hero that can win this game for Navi. I mean, yeah, Dendi General doing a lot of good work, but uh, Crystallize, if he can carry, would be pretty great. He shot up pretty quickly on the network charts, didn't he? Yeah. He's top now. Mask Man is pretty good at that. Split shot as well, of course. You know, while Liquid have a 4k gold lead, it's pretty much all on the tank, right? It's like true. the cores are, are even with each other. They also have uh, pretty good fighting items, double blade mills on the side of Navi. It's surprisingly close, is the way I'll put it. Arrow will head onto a Mud Golem instead of the hero that he wanted, which was General, who will blink himself away to safety. So he does have blink available, he's working on the Yules, he won't complete his uh, Veil. I think he realizes that that might not be the best item, but uh, 
And now it looks like Liquid will try to push into this tier 2 tower in the top lane. Weave's gonna drop. Arrow's stunning through. They'll all avoid it. Tier 1, or rather, tier 2 tower taking some shots from Miracle with the Dragon Lance mind control. He's gonna leave himself away. There are five Navi heroes, and Kuroki is pushing his heart. Farming at 4,200 gold. Five. What, is you what do you buy on this hero? What do you get? What do you get with this kind of a start? If this was yesterday, I would say Rapier, but now Miracle's gonna get caught. The Gust will come in. He's in trouble. He already used the Shadow Blade coming in. The Stone Gaze as well. The Dust is up. Miracle's gonna get chased down, and they're gonna get this kill. The Pounce, the Dark Pact. There it is. Seneco helping get the kill, and they will find a fight that gets them a nice little pickoff uh, for Navi. Alright, nice to done on quite the key hero as well. Miracle going down. It's just so... This game is just so weird. Right, like, yes. you see everyone move, they all move in together. It's real slow. The the percentage of, like, them actually being able to catch out a hero is quite low. So, I don't know, you just see these giant uh, bodies of heroes moving at each other over and over. Then Most of the time, nothing happens, honestly. It's a mass of heroes just moving from one side of the map to the other. And they've kind of split up for now for Navi, but I'm not sure how long that's going to last. Seneko's going for a Shadow Blade. Maybe he gets to that point and all of a sudden he, he becomes that extra core that they need, but... Um, I feel like Kuroki's playing the true Midas move, right? He's investing. It's true. He's waiting for his interest to kick in, then maybe he'll buy something, or maybe he'll just keep on uh, building up the money. I have no idea. As upset as Mr. Midas is at, at Liquid for essentially stealing from him, Kuroki, you gotta, I think Mr. Midas will admire Kuroki's play style this game. The amount of money he's made. 5,200. Just buy something, man. Just put anything in your quick buy anywhere, please. Yes. GH with that Aegis and Blink now. He's coming online. 4,300 net worth, but if they keep this Aegis alive for another minute 45, that is going to be enough to get the bounty completed for Liquid. And they're already ahead in gold, or rather in Moon Bucks. I don't know if they need to be any more ahead at this point. God. Okay, Kuroki has 5.6k. The gold is only 5k. If my math isn't complete garbage, which it might be because I'm from NA, so, that means that they are playing without their actual gold team. Yes, so if you take away Kuroki's gold, they're pretty much at a deficit, or they're even, at the very least. So that's interesting. He is up to 5,700. I don't think he has anything coming on the courier, not yet. Meanwhile, bottom line, they're going to try to find uh, Matema Man. He's done so. He has the grave. He will get it off in time, potentially. Shadow Wave. He held it for a while. It wouldn't have mattered. He was probably dead anyways. And that's Crystallize getting a Matumba Man dominating spree. And suddenly now, things are getting a little bit dicey for Liquid here as they've lost a couple of their core heroes the past few minutes. Medusa is starting to get very slow. And uh, you can go for these tanky items we're used to seeing, right? It's the uh, kind of combat build with Mask of Madness. Helps you farm. Blade Mail, good for fighting. Not the biggest stat items, of course, but still, she's very, very strong. Yes, this will be crystallized. He's going to have to do a lot of work this game. He's going for Mantis style next after having Mask of Madness Blade Mail. Um, did Crow buy anything? He's at 6,300 and counting, guys. I think he's trying to go for the 10k challenge. Oh, he's in trouble. Viper Strike, no TP scroll available. He'll try to man fight Roger. That won't work out. Denny does so much damage to that poison attack. They'll take down the, the uh, drought. Bottom lane, they're looking for more. Kuroki's getting jumped on by Seneko, and he might find this kill. Hand of God was already used. The Dark Pack coming in. The Pounce is there. Seneko will get the kill. Can they chase here for Liquid? They're going to find Seneko. The arrow will hit. It'll be a one-for-one -one trade. Did he use his money? Did he spend his gold? He certainly didn't. He did not spend his gold. So there's that. I hope he plays this whole game without buying an item. Is that uh, bounty? I sure hope not. That would, I don't think it. I'm pretty sure it's not. Wait, do we have denies and stuff? Did they deny anything? Uh, yeah. Okay, okay, so both teams have denied All stuff. All right, so GH's Aegis ran out. They have completed the challenge. Yes, 4 Protect 5 completed successfully by GH. Well done to Liquid. You might have lost your life to Roche early in the game. You might have been fodder, but don't worry. You got the Aegis to work with this time, buddy. Deeming himself. Unfortunately. That was quite unlucky, by the way. Beginning of the game. They were smoked and they happened to see him walking in the pit. Yeah. That, <laughs> that was pretty fun. Yeah. Well, they will take the tier 2 tower top lane. It's actually the first tier 2 taken by a team in this game, and it's going to be Navi getting that done. So all of a sudden, you have this Viper and Dusa who are gigantic. They've done a good job of fighting. They've done a good job of farming as well. And Navi now. Again, this is getting kind of dangerous for Liquid. All right, there we go. All right he, he bought, bought something. Did he Thank buy you. a full... It's a Dagon 3. He doesn't have enough for a Dagon 4 yet. Let's work on it. He's close. <laughs> you're, you're, you're using... Uh, you bought a Dagon into two blade mails. Kuroki's crazy. Nuts. I guess it's fine. I don't think he cares if he loses his life. 
be okay. This, uh... This game's so weird. Right, like, uh, Navi are the ones without the disables, and they're making all the moves. Dyer's top and tower is under attack. Liquid are fine. The Shrogan is dead, I think. Sonic Wave. Not enough. The poison attack. They're diving deep. So Dagan doesn't deep. do that much. Penance comes out. Roger. One more auto attack. The gust will come through. Dendi's in trouble. It's too deep. In fact, the blade mail will come out. There's the hex. They've got the earth spike. Dendi is going to get dropped. The solar crest will not save him despite getting some evasion there. But Miracle getting the kill. But they did it at the enemy tier 3 tower. So objective-wise, I'm not sure what liquid can get done with this. Yeah, but still two very big kills. Yes. Right, the uh, diving that deep with the support chain, even though he is extremely far, maybe not, uh, maybe not worth it. God. They actually, they lost both of their lives and they still gained gold out of it somehow. That's pretty nuts. Yule Scepter coming in. Dazzle is in trouble. He's got Grave. The Weave will come out. There's going to be the Dark Pack. The Pound's coming in as well. Dream Quill, the Waiting Rift. He is in trouble. He's got Greaves. He will use them. He'll get the Grave off in time, but where's the rest of his team? They have Hand of God, but there's no Kuroki for 10. He has another Shadow Wave to come through. He's earned charges to work with as well. He's actually going to survive. And now they're going to try to turn this. Seneco going to pounce across the river. He'll be alive for now. Gets hexed up. He's going to get leaped on him. One, one or two more auto attacks will get the kill. Even GH fingers him, which wasn't necessary, I don't think. But uh, they will trade and they'll get wherever. They don't even trade. Matama Man's alive. And he's not even alive. He's at full HP at this point. So. Very difficult. Miracle going for the TP. Nothing they can do to stop it. They don't even do enough damage to get the kill. And so he won't make it out. And there it is. Finally carrying that TP scroll will be successful for him. Oh, he got arrowed, he got Earth Spike to Hex, and uh, that was more than enough to get the kill, so... Very nice. You know, giving that Aegis to Lion while they did complete the bounty is kind of delaying their game. Right? Yes. If they would have given it to Mind Control or to Miracle or someone, then they probably could have taken these uh, Tier 2 Towers standing on the side of Navi. But you know what? This is minus one. You gotta complete the bounties. That's what it's all about. You gotta acquire the moon bucks. By the way, I think I misspoke earlier. I said that Navi were the first tier two takers, but they took the tier two tower bottom for liquid a long time ago, so. Yep, that's correct. I My didn't apologies. want to call you out and make you look dumb. Mark, no, it's because... okay. You should do that. I think oh, it's important. Come on, everyone makes mistakes. It's true. Especially me. We will see them me move too. into the tier two tower, though. Maybe they can get another one for them. All right. Mind Control getting rich still. He's going Daedalus now, so pure auto attack build for the Marana. Very scary. Roger has a Kaya, surprisingly enough. He's actually pretty farmed, all things considered. Yeah, he's not the top net worth, but they will be able to take some fights here in the near future. There'll, there'll be another tier 2 taken down by Liquid. They're, they're kind of taking some tier 3 chip damage here. There's a Siege Creep coming out, so they need to be careful. They don't lose too much damage on that tier 3 tower. Split push potential is kind of there for Navi. They need to be careful. Um, and Roche is up. That is good. They like Roshan. They're gonna take it quickly. They already have a uh, medallion. I think they even have his soul crest up. Maybe not. Penance will come out. This thing is already dead. Yep. Scam will come in. Maybe they can get there in time. The sentry's up. Now they're gonna use this onto GH. He's gonna get ensnared. He'll be fine for now. Yule Scepter, he's still in trouble. Sonic Wave won't hit him. He's still gonna get chased down. They've got a great grave. The Sonic Wave coming in. They blow up General. There's the hand of God. The life drain. He's still alive. Somehow, how is he still alive? Finally, they'll take GH down. Crystallize is so low. They want this kill. They'll leap the jump in. Mind Control needs one or two more auto attacks. He will get the job done. Kuroki getting chased down by Dendi. They're gonna have the silence under Roger. He's in trouble. One more auto attack. The urn will take him down potentially. He will die. Seneco on the back line. Shadow Blading up still getting chased as well. And now Dendi Frost arrowed up. He has no hurry. Hurricane Pike, the only thing that will save him is this Solar Crest. He'll try to turn on Matumba Man, the gust will come in. They need more damage, good evasion so far. They're really plunking away at him and they will finally get the kill. Mind Control will get the job done, they will kill four. Looking for a fifth, but it looks like Seneco will make it away. The support Slark is the sole survivor of that fight. And suddenly, after taking Roche, this game is starting to get out of control for Liquid. All right, it got out of control real quick. All right, they had like a 2k gold lead. I guess Seneco's not done yet on his support Slark, he's gonna... Cut the wave if possible. Yeah, he's gonna try. And uh, that's the Shadow Blade. He's still a Shadow Dance ready, even if Mind Control hits an arrow, it's not gonna work out well. So they will have Aegis and Cheese. Aegis is gonna go to Miracle. The uh, arrow will miss. And Echo's still cutting the creep with taking a lot of damage, though. He actually is in kind of some trouble here. He will go for a TP, no way to stop it, it looks like, as there was no arrow available. So Mind Control will have to let him leave. And he actually wasted a lot of time there, so that's some good news for Navi. Yep, he stalled just long enough for the heroes on Navi to start respawning, so they could, couldn't get any chip damage on the mid tower. They probably would have liked to take him back up, but it happened anymore. <sighs> Alright, Brax, 10k lead. Uh huh. Well, I mean, 
It's not that bad. You still have a tier two tower left for now, but you still have crystallized right. doing a lot of damage. It's not insurmountable by any means, but it is, it is large. Yes, absolutely. We'll see. General blinking over up to the north, across the ravine, trying to cut the creep wave as well. That has been their sole objective for the past two, Radiant past few possible. minutes. Miracle might get caught. No TP scroll available again, but he has the Aegis to work with, and that's a lot better. They're going to TP in top though. lane. Thanks to the Stark Knight boot. They're going to chase after me. Yeah, here's Seneko. He's looking for it. He's got the Shadow Blade. The Pounce will hit. They should have detection. The Gust will come in. He's going to try to man fight this for a moment. Aegis is about to get uh, taken down. Navi will take it. And they're going to get another kill, I believe. I don't know if they canceled the TP top lane, so Miracle's just dead. He's going to Manta. He's going to try to man fight, but he's done so once more. He's dead for 73 seconds, and Crystallize is the one to get the kill, but they now have to go back home. In fact, some of them TP'd up there to get these kills, so they need to be careful about how they move uh, these next few moments. Looks like the Viper is standing in front enough to port Liquid's aggression. Gem picked up on Slark. It'll give him back some map control. You know... When the game gets to this point of the like at this stage where everything is tough and you see it with the who has to jump on the GH, but yeah, they can't. They can't kill him, the Yule Scepter, he's still alive. There's the Hand of God, he does so much work. They've got the Hex up, they've got the Ensnare the Finger. Dendi is dead for 73, that is one of your main damage dealers down in the dirt now for Na'Vi. Yeah, but it's go time with no tanky Viper to sit in the front lines. I don't think they can... Uh... Ooh. That Sentry was... Uh... Very dangerous. Snake was about to run in. He might get caught. Crystallized is now also nearby. Ooh, good pounce away. But they found the dude, so they've got the finger. The center conquer is top. They'll get the kill. They do a lot of damage with General jumping in the Dream Quill and the Sonic Wave, but it's not enough to secure any kills just yet. Roger has to get back up to the high ground. The air will just miss as he sidesteps it. And now GH trying to find any further initiation with the Hex up with the Earth Spike as well. He will manage rain, they'll take down these siege creeps, and again, they have buybacks in their two main cores, but using them now is gonna make this a lot more rough here for Navi. All these intelligence heroes too, the lion and downs will both have damage talents. Find them with drow as well, hit quite hard. It's just that was so odd for Medusa to try to like flank in top side instead of just sitting by the tower. Yeah. Gave them a, a, an easy window to just go on the Medusa without really getting punished. They didn't have to walk up into the high ground, into the fog. They needed a general to initiate, but he, he didn't use it until uh, until after the deuce was already dead. The big initiator. Maybe Seneco can jump in with the pounce, but... It's just so unlikely, right? They're not buying back in these cores. They're still a tier 2 top lane, which means that they, at the very least, will keep that Rax alive. Seneco is running it and looking for a target, but Temple Man's not the easiest. In fact, backs away as he was going for the auto attack. Couldn't find it. The arrow will head onto a creep. Now they're looking for Dendi. Got the Solar Crest popped on him. Needs to be careful. And Liquid will clear up the creep wave and maybe go again. But now, every hero is available. They have the Earth Spike. Roger, well, he's not. He's dead. Dead for 70 seconds. They actually just blew him away. The Kuroki dig, and he's having a good time. You can tell. He's doing some serious work. Seneko's still in the back line looking for Crow. They do have a Hand of God in three seconds. Seneko, they're looking for it. Can't find it yet. Jump in. Waiting Rift. Dream Quell. They're going to have the Stone Gaze as well. Seneko doing some damage. He will pop the Shadow Dance. It's already pretty good. Hand of God keeping everybody alive. Miracle in trouble getting auto attack down. The Nether Toxin. There's the Grave from a ton of man. And they blow up another one with the Dagon. Seneko will fall. Miracle might live the Shadow Wave. They should have earned charges, but Gemma will pick him up and get the kill. But he needs to be careful. On the back lines, Earth Spike. They found the Deuce, so they have Finger in about six seconds. They might not even need it. He's running low on mana. They've got the mana drain from the line. It's more than enough to get the kill. Ah, oh, Dendi. Buybacks everywhere. There's going to be the finger of death. They will bring him down. The Yule Scepter GH is a little bit low. He'll get dropped by Seneko, who have bought back as well. Three buybacks coming from Navi. My control will eat the cheese. Seneko will die back. It's a triple kill. He's got, like, the arrow will hit onto Roger. He wants this one as well. That'll be another dieback. An ultra kill. Can they kill Crystallize or General to get the Rampage? They're looking like they might be able to do so. It's getting close. He'll jaunt away. Crystallize is man fighting. My control still going to work. There's the Grave coming up. He's going to get the Rampage. My control will get the job done. The offlaner for Team Liquid doing more than enough damage. The Illusion Herb, he's still chasing General now. He's got to be careful. He's got the phase shift. He needs to leave. He's got a Yule Scepter as well. The Waiting Rift will come in. Dendi's back there looking for My control. Can they get the kill? The TP coming up. But there's the Dream Quill. They'll find one. Can they get two? Matema Man, he's got no TP either, and he's going to be in trouble. The the Grave will keep him alive for a moment, but it will be a double kill for Dendi. Mind control spam pinging Matumba Man there. He got coiled and didn't get the drink or the, uh, the shallow grave off in time. Not pleased about that. Even Miracle joining with the flame that well played coming out. <laughs> My God. Oh, look at all those well plates from Miracle. Oh, liquid. Nice grave. There it is. There it is. <laughs> he all chatted that. He's flaming his own teammate in all chat. Damn. Jesus.
Oh, uh, what a fight, though, from Liquid. I mean, they crushed it. Mind Control is going off right now, and it was a good attempt from Na'Vi, but now they're down 24k. It feels like they can only really kill Miracle. Like, even the supports yeah. are harder to kill. And then you have to deal with the real carries afterwards. Kuroki. That's right, he's, Kuroki and GH. He's the god. He's got he's the got Ethereal a, Blade now. Yep, the Ethereal Blade, Dagon 5. And with the uh, Penitence, they've been fingering after the Penitence and blowing up. But... Yeah, that is... Uh... It's been pretty good for Liquid. They're looking for another target. It's Dendi. He's about to get caught. They have the Finger of Death. They'll use it. The Earth Spike and the auto attacks from Miracle are more than enough as he's trying to build an MKB. Seneko is going to come in. Maybe he can get GH here. He has a Yule Scepter. So even so, the Gust will come in the Sonic Wave, but he Yules himself up. Miracle will take most of that damage. GH, another Earth Spike available. He's trying to get it onto two. Almost did. They'll take down two. It's going to be a double kill for Miracle. He's doing some serious work at the end of this game. Triple kill, ultra kill for Miracle. He's fine. Finally online, after a couple of rough deaths, deaths in the early game, he is destroying. And that should be close to GG at this point. There's only one hero to work with, and that's Crystallize for Navi. It looks like this is going to be coming to an unless Crystallize can whip out the uh, fire right Oh! Now, but, he tried man -taining it. It was a good effort. Yeah, that's GG. That's what, that, really, that's what you could say about Navi this entire game, is it's a good effort, but the draft was just not meant to be Brex. Yeah, it's, uh, it's tough if you first random a Slark like that, right? right? You've got to tailor your draft to that, then some more randoms come out, and then you end up, you end up with five points. Oh, you man. Make do with that. Yeah, that, that was not, not enjoyable for Navi. They did their best. It was